my children, I'm going to read a story called The Lighthouse Keeper's Son. Once there was an island far out to sea where the wind blows hard and the wind blows fierce and the ships get blown right up onto the rocky shore. On this island lived a lighthouse keeper who had three sons. Every night two of his sons would follow him up the stairs. Let me light the lamp, father, they would cry, but not Hamish, who had his head in a book. The father showed his sons how to polish the lens and light the wick to burn the oil and make the beacon shine out for the ships at sea. Hamish wasn't interested. Hamish just wanted to read. What use are books out here, lad, his father would say. Time passed and the sons grew up. The two older boys wanted to be lighthouse keepers like their father. There were two other lighthouses on the island and one by one the sons moved out and took out each of them leaving only Hamish at home. Time to light the lamp, son, the father would say as he disappeared up the stairs. He always hoped that Hamish would follow, but Hamish never did. Why won't he take an interest, the lighthouse keeper thought. Doesn't he care? It made the lighthouse keeper angry and angry until one day he lost his temper. Why can't you be more like your brothers? When are you going to get your head out of those books and get a proper job? When are you going to do something with your life? He grabbed the book out of Hamish's hand and threw it into the fire. No, shouted Hamish as he jumped out of his comfy chair to fish the book out of the flames. But the book was ruined. From that day on, they barely said a word to each other. Time passed. The lighthouse keeper got older and wearier. Then one day, the two older brothers were called up to join their army and fight in a war. The lighthouse keeper was distraught. He couldn't run three lighthouses on his, on his own. How could he turn all of them on at lighting up time? Hamish said, Dad, I've been thinking about the lighthouse. Can I show you something in my new book? Lad, books won't help to light the lamps, the lighthouse keeper said, and he turned to go. But Hamish carried on. Dad, there's something new on the mainland. It's called electricity. I think we could use it to light the lighthouses. Not just one of them, all of them. The lighthouse keeper stopped. Electricity can light up a huge bulb. It flows from a generator, down metal wires. When it flows through the light bulb, it makes a tiny wire inside gets so hot that it glows. It gets hotter and hotter and makes a really bright light. The lighthouse keeper looked interested. Hamish carried on. It burns clean. It won't get sooty. Clean, the light, said the lighthouse keeper. I won't have to clean the lens. No, Dad, you won't have to clean it, said Hamish. And if we wire all the lighthouses together in one loop, we can turn them all up with one switch. Imagine that, Dad. No more climbing the stairs, no more cleaning the lens, just a flick of a switch. One switch? Hmm, said the lighthouse keeper. Maybe your books are useful after all. He asked a lot of questions and Hamish bought more books to find the answers. But eventually his father agreed, son, I think we should give it a go. The workmen came over from the mainland with three electric lamps. They put huge cables in a big circle, supported by sturdy pylons, connecting up all three lighthouses on the land, the island to a brand new generator. At the top of each lighthouse they put a fine new electric lamp. And in the lighthouse keeper's kitchen they placed a huge electric switch. When everything was connected into one huge loop, the lighthouse keeper threw the switch. Everyone held their breath. And, at, and then, as one, the three lamps flickered on. For the first time in his life, the lighthouse keeper looked at his son with pride. Well done, son, he said. Time passed. Hamish took the three lighthouses and his father retired. As he left, he took the cellar key from his pocket. Just in case, he said and he hung the key by the door. Hamish was quite happy. He read all day in the piece of quiet and he flicked the switch early day at dusk and dawn. And the ship saw the lights and stayed safely out of the way of the rocks. Then came a day when the wind blew hard and the wind blew fierce and Hamish could see there was a storm brewing out at sea. The wind made all kinds of noises, whistling and growling, creaking and groaning. And then it began to make a new noise a grinding noise. It didn't sound right. Hamish put on his coat and went out to the storm. 
The wind whipped his coat about and the rain lashed his face. The cables were twisting in the wind, swinging one way and then the other. Then all of a sudden, the lights went out, all three of them. The cable had come off its fixings and was swishing about like a snake. All the ships at sea began to wail. They honked their horns to tell Hamish the lights had gone out. They honked their horns to tell the other ships to keep out of the way. And they honked their horns in terror of being washed up on the rocky island shore. No, screamed Hamish. And still the ships wailed in the dark. Hamish didn't know what to do. As he stepped inside, he saw the cellar key hanging on the hook. Just in case, his father had said. He took the key and went down to the cellar. There at the back in a neat line with three clean oil lamps. Oh, Dad, thank you, he breathed as he heaved his first lamp up the stairs. He lit the lamp as fast he was as he was able, and the ship sounded their horns in, the in thanks. He loaded the other lamps into his van and went to each lighthouse until all the lamps were lit and all the ships were safe. When the workmen came from the mainland the following week to fix the cable, Hamish had some new ideas. It would be more work, but he knew it was the right thing to do. He had each lighthouse linked up to its own generator on its own loop of wire. Now there were three switches to turn off at dawn and on again at dusk, but Hamish didn't mind. At least he didn't have to climb the stairs and polish the lenses. The ships were safe and the job was done properly and the three oil lamps stayed polished and clean in the cellar and the key hung by the door always, just in case. When the workmen came from the main mainland the following week to fix the cable, Hamish had some new ideas. It would be more work, but he knew it was the right thing to do. He moved the generator to the centre of the island, and he had each lighthouse linked up to the generator on its own loop of wire. Now there were three different switches to turn off at dawn and on again at dusk, but if one of the wires broke, only one of the lighthouses would go off. The other two would be fine, keeping the ship safe. The three oil lamps stayed, polished and clean, in the cellar, and the key hung by the door always, just in case.